I believe you. Thank you. Son, you want to talk about it later over a game of catch? I'd like that. What's going on? Family game night. Don't worry, I brought Twister. Hey, what was that? Hey, what was that? Hey, what was that? Here's the snacks. <sighs> you know, in another lifetime, you and I would have made a hot ass couple. Agreed. I guess you should be very proud of yourself. I know things aren't exactly where you want to be right now, but uh, I promise you they will improve. Thank you, Captain. Every time someone steps up and says who they are, the world becomes a better, more interesting place. So, thank you. Hey, do you seriously only have two wine glasses? Yeah, a little alone. Well, you're gonna need to get some more because there's a lot of us here. Thank you for doing this, man. Of course, we'll be here every week. Rosa, I broke both your wine glasses in your fridge door in your bathroom. Every single week! Santiago, I'm on the phone. Dribble break! I'm so sorry, sir. I can come back later. No, it's too late. The call is ruined. Goodbye, dear. What do you want? Well, since there's a good chance that things are coming to an end, I just wanted to say thank you for everything that you've taught me. I know you may not see yourself as my mentor, but... Of course I do. I've been mentoring you all this time. This is day 1,282 of a nine-year mentorship I had mapped out for you. Under ordinary circumstances, I wouldn't reveal this to you until day 3,300. It was real. There was a binder. Not anymore. No! You can still mentor me if we don't work together. We could meet for breakfast every day. You could teach me over eggs. Eggs for breakfast. Further behind than I thought. Ah! No, look, okay, there are 10 hours left, sir. If you talk fast enough, you can teach me everything. Interesting. Okay. You have to take notes. Do you think you can keep up? Let's just say I was president of the stenographer's club in high school for a reason. Was the reason because you were the only member? Yes. Five minutes left. What have I missed? Professional handshake. We did that. Fingers with a half centimeter spread, up, down, then separate. Good. Acceptable fabrics. Cotton or cotton blend. Wool is for outerwear only, and silk is for sex workers or musicians. Right. Good desserts. There are none. If you were hungry, you should have had more dinner. That's it. We're done. You've been mentored. Oh my god! We did it! I can't believe we did it! Oh no. We did it. It's over. Yes, I agree. Up, down. Separation. Separation. I'm so glad you're helping me. Maybe I won't blow it after all. Oh, you'll do plenty of blowing of that flute. Now let's go. A five, six, seven, eight. Stop. The nod meant start now, not start one second later. Again, five, six, seven, eight. Stop. Are you playing the muffin man or the garbage man? Huh? Do you know the garbage man? Because I do, because I'm looking right at him. Again, five, six, seven, eight. Bum, 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 ba -dum, bum, bum. Again. Why'd you stop playing, garbage man? I need some water. What you need to do is keep practicing, garbage man. I don't have any more saliva. And I don't have any more time for your excuses, garbage man. Now play again. Five, six. I don't want your help anymore. I'm not a garbage man. I'm a muffin man. Hi, uh, my name is Terry Jeffords, and I don't know how this is going to go. Wait! Sir, I'm Captain Raymond Holt of the 99th Precinct, and I need to tell you about this man. Now, the audition piece he's about to play may not be technically perfect. In fact, it may hurt your ears. You may consider it an insult to music. You may whisper to each other, Muffin Man? Psh, more like Garbage Man. Come on. But you would be wrong. This man has taught me something. He's taught me that music is about heart and soul. It's about perseverance. Despite everything I put him through, he showed up here today, and you would be a fool not to put him in your band. Thank you, Captain. So again, your alibi is a mysterious stranger handed you the gun, made you put your prints on it, robbed the store, and then hid the gun in your underpants. Well, yeah, if you say it like that, it don't sound believable. Oh, hey, Captain, did you get my report on the Finley murder? Oh, uh, yeah, I looked it over. Nice work. Good. Thanks, Dad. Why is everyone staring at me? You just called Captain Holt Dad. You said, thanks, Dad. What? No, I didn't. I said, thanks, man. Do you see me as a father figure, Peralta? No. If anything, I see you as a bother figure, because you're always bothering me. Hey, show your father some respect. I didn't call him Dad. No, 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 no. Jacob. 
I take it as a compliment. It's not a big deal. I called Vivian mom once, and she's my fiance. Guys, jump on that. Boyle has psychosexual issues. Old news, but you calling Holt daddy. Hey, daddy is not on the table here. But you did call him dad, dude. You shut up. You've done nothing but lie since you got here. All right, all right, I was lying about the holdup. But the dad thing, that happened. Aha! He admitted that his alibi was a lie. It was a trap, all part of my crazy, devious plan. I believe you. Thank you. Son, you want to talk about it later over a game of catch? I'd like that. You took a vacation 14 days ago, and yet you already want another day off? Odd, unless you need it for a unique, once-in-a-lifetime occurrence. Perhaps a proposal to your girlfriend, Jocelyn? What? You've been dating for a year, you met each other's parents, and you just got your nails done to present her with a ring. Jocelyn broke up with me. What? I want the day off so I can sit alone, listen to death metal, and get my head right. But what about my nail polish solve? Getting my nails done made me feel better for a second. Uh, this is a trick to throw me off. I bet things are better than ever. And you, oh, you really are crying. Rosa, stop, I give up. I want you to know, I'm sorry for crying. Win this thing and enjoy your day off. And if you ever want a friend to sit with you and silently listen to death metal, just know. I'm always here. OK. I'd like that. <gasps> no! What are you freaks doing? We're leaving the competition. Some things are more important than a game. No, they're not! You like it? Not at all. You can leave. Not a chance. Is this seat taken? You really gonna do this, Diaz? My name is Rachel Weinstein. I'm a graduate student on sabbatical to study birds at the University of Buenos Aires. You know, Cornell has a far better ornithology department, and it's right here in New York. Cornell has accused me of robbing a bank and is gonna send me to jail for 15 years. I guess we're dropping the metaphor. I don't know why you're here. You're not gonna change my mind. I know. I just wanted to say goodbye. Okay, goodbye. I hope you know your family's gonna miss you. I don't care. I barely speak to them. I was talking about the 9-9. Be safe, Rachel Weinstein. Oh, fresh air. Well, I don't say that a lot. There's one thing I still don't understand. Did you know you had the wrong murder weapon? Oh, excellent question, sir. Yes. I spotted the missing dental award when I first took the case. I asked around weeks ago. It turns out a cleaning lady knocked it over and shattered it. Then why did you run in there like that? Because in talking to you, I realized what Philip's worst fear actually was, that we would think he was just some dummy that got lucky. Right. He had planned the perfect crime, and it killed him when you said he was sloppy and impulsive. He needed us to know how smart he was. Right. Like someone else I know. Yep. Kevin. <laughs> I'm proud of you, Peralta. Thank you, sir. Now, let's go get some sleep. Yeah. Hey, guys. My goodness, we're almost late for work. Oh. Well, in that case, good morning, sir. Good morning, Peralta. God, I love this job. So, you're leaving. That must have been a hard decision. Honestly, it wasn't. It's funny. On my first day here, I asked Jeffers to tell me about everyone. Told me you were a great detective. But the one thing you couldn't figure out was how to grow up. Well, I think you finally figured it out. Well, thank you, sir. I couldn't have done it without you. Over the years, you've sometimes referred to me as uh, something of a father figure. Did I? I didn't realize that. But I want you to know, if I had had a son, and uh, he had turned out like you, I would be very proud of him. Thank you, sir. Wow. Wasn't expecting to get this emotional. <laughs> it's not bad for an old robot, huh? Sleep. <laughs> Sir, did you just make a joke? I believe I did. Yes. I guess in the end, we rubbed off on each other quite a bit. Title of your sex movie. Did I do that right? 
it was perfect.